Hi guys, it's Darth Deuce here, and I'm start with a Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Before I get on with the review, I just want to apologize if you hear any random noises in the background. I live on a pretty busy street, so there's a lot of traffic and whatnot, so I apologize for that, and there's not really much I can do about it. Um, but we're going to be taking a look at the new Clone Commander Wolf figure from the 6 inch Black Series line. Um, I actually stumbled upon this figure, I completely forgot he was actually out. Um, I stumbled upon them, and I'm pretty happy about that. This is the one I definitely wanted to pick up. I've gotten all the other Black Series Commanders, so I definitely wanted to add Wolf. He's one of the cooler looking ones. Anyways, here series in the packaging here. You got Clone Commander Wolf, pretty cool image of Wolf there. Got the figure in the packaging, Black Series logo. No number, because he's an exclusive. Um, in Canada, this is where I live, so in Canada he is a EB Games exclusive. I'm I think he's a GameStop exclusive in the States, Think Geek, and then I'm not sure in other places. Um, then you got just a larger image of the first image there, and you got a kind of a bigger bio than we usually see. It says Clone Commander Wolf, Clone Designation CC3636, served in the Clone Wars as commander of the tight knit unit known as the Wolf Pack. A seasoned and battered combatant, Wolf has witnessed some of the worst the war has offered. Despite tragedy, he fights on bravely, proudly brandishing his battle scars and instilling loyalty along, among his men. So, pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to get this guy cracked open and we'll take a closer look at the figure. Alright, now I have Wolf out of the packaging. And this is a really, really cool figure. Um, it's using, I mean, at the end of the day, it's using a lot of the same parts that the previous Clone Commander figures have used. But... I think this is one of the coolest looking, if not the coolest looking of the commanders that we've gotten recently. It is a significantly different looking helmet that I really like. Um, yeah, let's take a closer look. So here's the helmet, and the helmet looks really good, and I really like the paint all throughout the figure. He's got a nice sort of shine to his armor. The white is a really nice bright white. Um, the wolf emblem on his mask or his helmet there is really well done I have to say I really do like that a lot there's some minor scuffing but it's not too bad the gold paint apps look really good on there the red triangles maybe slightly off center but still looks really good the visor is painted pretty nicely he's got this nice brown scuffing of dirt on his helmet which looks really nice as well You've got all like you know the expected sort of black paint apps to bring out details and the vents and whatnot. Does have a gunmetal colored uh, rangefinder which does move down, which is always appreciated feature. And you can remove the helmet to get a really nice looking face printed face here. Try to get the focus. A bit more. Come on. There we go. I think it looks really good. Um, the hair, he's got the more standard clone crew cut going on. The eyebrows look pretty good. The eyes look great. I love the cybernetic eye with the scars. The scars look really cool. Mouth's good. He's got like a really subtle, like five o'clock shadow stubble going on there, which is really cool. Uh, my only real gripe is that, especially when it comes to the hair, there's a lot of, like, you can kind of see, like, some of the skin tone um, the color coming through the hair. It's, like, speckled. I don't I don't think that was intentional. Maybe it was, but it's pretty noticeable, which kind of sucks. Rest figure, you know, your standard stuff. He actually has a different torso to the uh, clone Captain Rex figure, which is interesting because you can tell from the back piece. Aside from that, most ex most of it, except for the shoulder pad here, is reused from Cody, or not Cody, um, Rex, I'm pretty sure. But it looks good. I really like the color they used for his decals. It looks nice. They do have some QC paint scuffing and chipping, which kind of sucks. Not too bad. The dirt scuffs look cool. I like that. He's got his antenna here, which mine's a little warped, but it's not too bad. And the emblem here is painted really nicely. And all these lines are pretty sharp and crisply done. I like that. That's pretty sharp. Nothing too much going on there. A little bit of more paint scuffs, but it's not a huge deal. 
Got his wrist communicator there, it looks good. The Wolfpack logo on his shoulder looks really, really good. Got the belt, which is the same from Rex. It's got a soft goods uh, camo, which is actually different from Rex's. It's made of a more softer, thinner material, and it's not as long. But it's got the light, sort of navy, bluish trim going on there, which is cool. And you've got the legs, which has actually no dirt scuffing, which is a little weird. You'd think uh, there'd be some dirt scuffing on the boots, especially. They're just kind of shiny. But the paint apps are good. And one thing I just noticed now, it's got these roots. Oh. Sorry. Camera fell. He's got these, uh, like, smudges of the blue paint on the back of his thighs. I didn't notice that. And you can't tell from looking at the packaging, obviously, because he's facing forward. That actually really sucks. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, you know, covered up by the camera. You're not gonna, and he's not going to be posed back. Whereas, so it doesn't matter too much, but still, that actually kind of sucks. So QC could be a little better on this guy, but it's not too bad. I mean, it looks really good overall, though. I can't complain too much. In terms of articulation, he's got your standard black series. He's got the ball joint in the head with the hinge of the neck. Ball hinge of the shoulders, which don't move out as well as Rex's did. He did his shoulder pads don't really go underneath the armor like Rex's did. I can't really get it like that. I don't know if they can go over it. Yeah, even over it, you can't get it as far out as you'd like, maybe. But you got the rotation, which is like almost a ratchet joint. Uh, swivel at the bicep. Double hinges at the elbows, which move just past 90 degrees. For being double hinges, it would have been nice if they moved a bit more, which kind of makes me wonder if this is even the same as Rex's. Because I think Rex could... Yeah, Rex could move in really far, because I'm almost thinking this guy's using the old clone arms which doesn't really make any sense to me but whatever he's got ball hinges at the wrist this wrist goes in and out has a trigger finger this wrist for whatever reason because even though he's a comes with two pistols this one doesn't have a trigger finger so i'm gonna have to cut that myself that one goes in and out like that ball joint which moves pretty good at the waist you know got some pivot and rotation all that ball hinge at the hips move pretty good and they're not loose or anything sole at the thigh double hinges at the knees Move again, pretty good. This one's a little loose, actually, at the bottom one. And then hinges at the ankles, with move smoothly and nicely. So, not too bad at the articulation either, though he's a bit more limited than I actually expected him to be. And in terms of accessories, he comes with his helmet. Obviously, we saw that. And he also comes with the same DC-17 pistols that we saw with Rex. So, there they are. Looks really good. And he can hold them. Well, he holds the one well in his right hand because he has a trigger finger for it and then for some reason he doesn't this one you need to cut the I'm gonna have to cut the trigger finger for it which is stupid I don't know why he does that did Rex have I actually don't know if I had to cut it for Rex or not I don't think I had to cut Rex's though I'm not 100% sure I honestly don't remember But yeah, so that's kind of stupid, honestly. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Um, but I'll do some a s comparison real quick with that Rex figure. Here he is with Rex. They look really cool together. Uh, I'll take Rex's helmet off here. Uh, Wolf's helmet fits better than Rex's does, but those Rex's is kind of because of his pauldron there. You got the different head sculpts there. Put your gun down, Rex. So that's pretty cool. They both look pretty good. And overall, I think Wolf is a solid figure for sure. Um, he definitely, I think for the most part, still keeps up the quality of the commanders that they've been putting out recently. I'm really happy that they've been bringing out more clone troopers in the Black Series line, even though they are exclusives, or most of them are. Um, or the two, Gree. Gree and Wolf has been or Rex isn't anymore but overall it's a really cool figure I really like it a lot and I think if you're collecting the Black Series line and you're collecting the clone troopers 100% recommend pick this up really good figure Look, looks great anyways thank you guys so much for watching
Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you all next video. May the Force be with you.